it's Taran Shum from Outsourcing Live. And in today's video, I wanted to go through and just give you a quick overview of the month of October, how things progress and we went quite well for this month. Traffic increased, lots of videos went online and there's a lot more interaction as well. But I don't want to actually go through in quite a lot of detail about all the kind of stats and stuff. You can actually watch that right down below on the blog because I've listed out the stats and what kind of increases in the traffic. But what I'd like to do in this video is to give you some tips of what I've learned or just share some things that have worked for me this month so that way this becomes a very practical, hands-on, actionable video which you can just take away and start implementing some of the things that I did within my business in outsourcing for the month of October. All right, so what I wanted to do is firstly just to start off with, I started this channel back in probably oh, end of uh, early June kind of thing and since June which is six months or well, actually less than six months, five months, I've got up to about 23,000 views which is not bad just to start off from nothing. So I've basically increased the viewership up to about 23,000 and each month I'll be tracking that from now on. And what I've done consistently is to just consistently place or upload about two to three videos a week. And what I found interestingly enough is just some simple things that I've done to be able to increase the viewership and also to in increase the interaction. Let's take a look at this video I recently uploaded which is called the What is the Best Video Camera for YouTube? And it was definitely answering a question that I received numerous times from a lot of the readers and yourself as viewers of this blog and the question obviously is finding out what kind of cameras that I'm using to be able to produce these high quality videos. And what I did to be able to also keep the interaction going was one key thing I just want to mention was in the tags which is very, very important down here, I'm just going to highlight it for you, is to make sure that you do put your channel name. So I've got Outsourcing Live over here and also just my name because my name is very unique so therefore YouTube will come and find it. And the reason why I'm suggesting these very important tips is because on the right hand side you'll notice over here is that there is some related videos and you can see I've got four of the related videos right here that people can click on once they finish watching this and it keeps them interacted and staying on your videos. So that's a little tip that I can just provide for you because it's actually helped in many ways to be able to keep people on the videos and also helped with regards to just yeah people watching my videos and stuff like that. So anyway, just check it out. That's very cool and it's been very useful and I noticed a lot of comments have been coming through. Second thing I wanted to mention as well is every time I place a video on YouTube, I also upload a transcript. Not only that, after that transcript, I actually get my virtual assistant to re or turn it into more of an article where you can see that there's headings. As you can see, there's this like subheadings or, or headings to each section. And also too, I make sure that I put in links links that are related to particular topics. So it helps with backlinking within the blog and also helps with recommendations of potential affiliate programs. And that's something that I recommend you do if you are going to be running a video blog like I am because at the end of the day, what Google wants to see is not just only your video but text that's here because that's how they're going to index and get your site ranked or your pages ranked inside the search engine. So those were really just the two takeaway points that I learned in October that really, really did help I noticed increase pretty much my traffic to this blog. So that's what I just wanted to mention for you. All right, well, if you've got any further questions, I'd recommend uh, or highly encourage you to go back to outsourcinglive.com and leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are and I hope that you'll be able to take away these little two gems that I found in October that's helped my blog and also help the growth of Outsourcing Live. Until then, thanks very much for watching. My name is Tyrone Shum from Outsourcing Live and remember, just to outsource it. Now, if you like more resources like this one, you can find them inside Mass Outsource Mastermind along with video tutorials and step-by-step -step instructions showing exactly how I use them. To get a 30-day no-risk trial membership to Mass Outsource Mastermind, simply visit freevideoset.com. Until next time, I wish you success in your quest for outsourcing.